Biosystems Engineering. Biomedical engineering is the application of engineering to human health and medicine. Biosystems engineering is the application of engineering to plant, animal, microbial, and environmental resources. Biosystems engineering is the application of engineering to food, water, bioenergy, and the environment. It is engineering for the basic necessities of life. And of course, the grand challenges for the planet, including population growth, diminishing freshwater supply, running out of fossil fuels, and diseases and pathogens that affect everyday life. Solving these problems is going to require imagination, creativity, and innovation. Biosystems engineering is bioimagineering for a sustainable world. Biosystems engineers are working to solve many, many of the problems that face us today. Why should you become a biosystems engineer? Because you can make a difference. You can have a positive impact on society and the planet through your work. The job market is good. Our graduates get jobs in the field, even during tough economic times. Food, environment, and water resources are a huge growth area for Arizona and the world. Our engineers are trained in engineering design that's going to include an emphasis on mechanics, electronics, thermodynamics, and fluids. We understand the biology of many scales, from molecular to cellular, and all types, from microbes to animals. Engineers tied closely with the industries that include environment and water resources, biological technologies, and agriculture. Biosystems engineers solve big problems. Renewable use of resources, the public well-being, and safety of food and water, fiber and energy manage systems and ecosystems within and around growth of human and animal communities. And we develop controlled environments, greenhouses to green buildings. Jobs in Arizona are very strong. We have ties to consulting firms, biotechnology industries, and agri-industries across the U.S. and many international activities, including projects in Mexico, South America, Asia, Africa, and the Middle East. Some careers are traditional engineering, design, and research, but there are many, many more opportunities that require work outdoors. Controlled Environment Agricultural Center. We have growth chamber for the moon and Mars, growth chambers for our students built and then set up near the South Pole. Rapid, highly sensitive, and portable lab on a chip for detection of bacteria. Microchannel microfluids to check foodborne pathogens on leafy greens. Water resources and the environment. Water resources engineers design methods to transmit water at appropriate amounts and quality for its use. Ag and municipal waters are big use and big opportunities. Companies, CH2M Hill, Parsons, PureTech, and many, many more. Bioproduction, including nutraceuticals, pharmaceuticals, cosmetic ingredients, as well as animal and fish feed. Challenge, Produce transportation fuels in the southwest U.S. Well, we have plenty of sunlight, available land, extended growing seasons. We need alternative water resources such as reclaimed wastewater, saline aquifers, and production water. Two options being pursued at the University of Arizona include microalgae and sweet sorghum. Increase overall production by optimizing sustainable cultivation and production system through photobioreactors, ponds, and test beds. 
Whatever you choose for your major, one of the most important things you need to think about is that you need to gain experience while in college. That means working in a lab, getting a job with a company, volunteering or gaining experience in leading clubs, groups, or other organizations. When is it a good time to become a biosystems engineer? Right now is a great time in our field. Biosystems engineers address some of the world's most pressing problems and they have many opportunities. Imagine helping engineer a smart planet for food, water, energy, and life. 